So in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of methods to export data from Leica GeoOffice for use in Leica Infinity. One note on this, if you need to export data for post-processing, uh, GNSS data or total station data, in that case you're going to need to import the raw data directly from your instrument into Leica Infinity. The export methods I'm going to show you from LGO will take finished data for use in the adjustment process in Leica Infinity uh, or use for to be serve as the basis for post-processing of other data. So in this case what you have is a GNSS survey that uh, I want to export the baseline data for use in Infinity. So I have two methods uh, so I'll go first to export and in this one I'm going to choose ASCII data then I'm going to set my file type down here as ski ASCII. The next thing I want to do is check my settings and I want to make sure this is set for baselines. So I'll go to settings. I'll choose baselines and, and for this method I just make I'll go through the different tabs and just make sure that I have everything checked on. And once I've done that, we don't need to be SKI-2 compatible here. Once I have that finished, I'll press OK. I will give a job, I will give a job name. In this case, uh, this is a GFP. Select a directory. Uh, in Leica Geo Office, you cannot store to the desktop. So I will select a desk, uh, in this case, a temporary directory and press export. I've already done this once, so I'll press OK. Uh, the other method that we have to come out of like a Geo Office is through the Land XML process. Uh, to be able to export from like a Geo Office a Land XML through uh, a Land XML file, you had to have purchased that option. If that option is available, when you go to export, you will see here at the bottom of your export tab Land XML file. We can look at our settings again here and select the items that you want to export from, like a Geo Office to Infinity. I will select an uh, export location and give it a name. I'll call this GFP Land XML just to differentiate from the other export. Press Save, and we're done with like a Geo Office. So I've opened like Infinity and created a new project. So I'm here on the main screen, so I will go to Import. And I will set my file type to Import to be Ski ASCII. Then I will navigate, and you can navigate up here on your top of your screen, or you can go over on your recent side and select the location of your file. In this case, I'm going to select GFP ASCII. My file type again is set to ski ASCII. I'll press import. And you'll notice then now we, we do have our baseline information. If I go to my inspector tab, go to my points tab, I can see my coordinates. I have my 3D qualities and I'm now able to take this data and utilize it for adjustments or to process more GNSS data or more total station data. So let's uh, delete that. So I'll just click here on my source and remove that from the job. And so now we'll go back to import. We'll change our file type to land XML or, and we have our file here, GFP land XML. Select that, press import, go to view, it's the same view that we had on the last screen. I'll go to my inspector, go to my points tab, and I can look at my coordinates for those points as well. 